What is up? This is Christopher. Today we're going to look at Pocket Cast for the iPhone. Now, Pocket Cast is a podcast listening or subscription manager for your podcast. It is an application that will work on both the iPhone as well as the iPad, so it is universal in that regard. Uh, Pocket Cast is a paid app. It costs $3.99. Now, Pocket Cast will play both audio as well as video podcast. So just wanted to get that info out of the way. And basically, I'm just going to go over the app, show you some of the settings, show you some of the things I like about it. I don't think there's anything that I really didn't like, but uh, if it comes to my mind, I'll mention that as well. So when you launch Pocket Cast, this is what you see. You have like all your podcasts up here at the top. You have Discover, New Releases, uh, In Progress, Starred. You could also create episode filters download podcast and then you have some settings and then down here you have a podcast that maybe you were listening to that you paused and that is where the end progress comes into play but uh let me show you my podcast here at the top so i'm gonna go ahead and launch this show you what it looks like this is where you will find all your podcast subscriptions now you can rearrange these you just press and hold on an app icon or a podcast icon and then you can rearrange that to put your favorites or however you want to organize your podcast tap the plus sign up here in the top right let's go ahead and tap that if i want to discover or add a new podcast so i can search by the title or the feed URL, notice the search box right up here. They have some featured podcasts. You can kind of swipe uh, between these. They have trending, and then they have the most popular podcast, according to this app. So trending right now is the Revisionist History by Malcolm Gladwell. Get those 10,000 hours in and perfect whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, and then you have most popular, uh, This American Life, Serial Radio Lab. Now, I'm sure these change. I'm not sure what they're using to come up with the most popular, but probably using like iTunes uh, podcast service or something because that list looks like what would be number one inside iTunes. Uh, anyway, you can search by network and you can kind of swipe between these. So like if your favorite network, for instance, is 5x5, five five, you can tap on 5x5 five five, and then you can see all the podcasts in the 5x5 five five network. So let's back up. So you can come down here to categories, and then you got different categories for the type of podcast. Now, I'm a big fan of technology and TV and film, so let's just tap TV and film right here. And then you can see all the TV and film podcasts. Really good one if you're a fan of Game of Thrones is The Ringer, The Watch, from The Ringer, excuse me. Um, so you can subscribe to a podcast by tapping on the plus symbol. Let's back up. You could also change your region. And you see they have all these different regions around here. You change from Australia all the way down to the United States of America. All right, so let's back up here and let me back up again. And we back up again. All right, you can tap this Discover tab, and it's going to take you right back to where we just were um, in the podcast store. All right, so then you have the new releases section. Now, what this is, whatever podcast you are subscribed to, anytime they release a new podcast it will be updated right here it'll show you how long the podcast is the title the date etc etc just basic information and you can kind of swipe up and down between these yesterday august 7th august 5th august 4th whatever day a new podcast came out you will see all the relevant information right there all right you'll notice up here at the top you have the chromecast button which is really cool if you have a chromecast so I can go, or if you have Google Chrome installed on like an iMac or a desktop PC, you can cast to that as well. But let's go ahead and tap that. And you see right here, I have Christopher's iMac, and then I have uh, Cruzo Chrome, which is my Chromecast connected to my television. Not going to do that now. But then you have this little three-prong menu right here. So you can tap this. You have some more settings in here. You can play all, download all, mark all played, edit filter settings, and delete filter. So let's go in here to edit filter settings. And look at this, you can adjust this by new release, you can say appearance, playing state, status, episode, last two weeks, um, I could even do say the last month, the last three days, etc. All right, and then you have the include podcast section right here, which is really cool. So if you don't want to have a podcast get updated in that uh, newest release, go ahead and just turn off include all, and then you can just select which one you want to include etc etc i'm just going to leave all of them for now 
come back over here and then you can sort by newest to oldest or oldest to newest and then you could also only show starred episodes so if you've starred episodes or whatever you can go ahead and tap that as well but we are done so let's go ahead and back up out of here and now let's go in progress. Now this is one that I am currently listening to. You have the same options up here for the Chromecast and then the little menu, and you can tap the play button. No, It'll start scrape playing. off the bottom, like just smell it. All right, let's pause that. Let's... All right, and then we have starred. Now I don't have any starred right here. You can come in here, no episodes. Either it's time to celebrate completing this list or edit in your filter settings to get some more. I don't have anything starred. Back up out of there. Create episode filter. You'll notice this looks similar to the new release filter that I had. It's almost identical, just a different color. And you can change that to whatever color you like. Some of the settings in here, you can change the icon, uh, playing state, etc., etc. All the stuff that we just had um, from the other setting. All right, and then you have downloads. So you can come here. I don't have any podcast to download because I have downloads turned off but if i had them turned off they would show up here in a ready to download state they would show up here for podcasts that i have downloaded to my phone i mostly stream because i mostly listen to podcasts when i'm at home sitting at my desk working or whatever now if i was going on a road trip or something then i would go ahead and download 20 or 30 podcasts keep in mind it's going to take up storage on your iphone or ipad um, so let's come over here to settings now all right, so you have your account information up here, which I have my email address blurred out. But what's cool about this is Pocket Cast is available not only on the iPhone and iPad, but also available on Android, as well as, I believe, Windows devices or Windows mobile phone. I don't even know what it's called. Windows, <laughs> whatever their platform is called. Um, you can also listen to it on the web. So if you log in, all your podcasts will sync between those different platforms. Or let me just say this, I'm not sure about like the web and Windows uh, phone or whatever, but I know between Android and iPhone it does because I have a Nexus 5X and then I have the iPhone 6S Plus and I use Pocket Cast on my Android. That is the only app for podcasts that I have installed, but I know if I do anything on the iPhone, it will um, update or reflect the changes on my Android phone the next time I open the app. You can skip forward, skip back, keep screen awake, which is really helpful if you're like, on a video podcast or something, and then stream by default. As I said, I mostly stream. I almost never download podcasts to my device. The skip forward and back, you know what this is for. Let's just go ahead and get out of the way. When those annoying commercials come on, which is how most of the podcasters get paid, you go ahead and hit the skip button. Um, I found two taps of 45 seconds almost always skips through the ad. And then you could put it to whatever. You can adjust this like 5, 10 uh, backwards. I found five seconds to skip back. Uh, perfect. So if I do skip an ad that I don't, I'm not interested in listening to, but I go a little too far, usually a couple taps on the five seconds and I'm back to where the podcast will resume after the commercial's over. So let's back up here, go to notifications. You can turn these on or off. I keep notifications disabled because I have like 30 or 35 podcast subscriptions. I do not need to be notified every time a podcast comes out. I open this app at nighttime or during the day. I can see which ones are new. Storage and data. Delete episodes after playing. So if you download an episode, delete it after playing, this will save storage on your device. You can turn the auto cleanup on or off. And what that will do, basically it'll keep the latest episode, keep the latest two, keep the latest three, whatever. That way if you download 10 podcasts to the phone from one particular podcaster, you could just go ahead and just keep like the last one or the last two if you choose. I turn that off. I'd rather do it manually. Uh, downloaded files and sync cache. You can clear all this stuff right here. Clear cache, uh, download files, uh, unplayed, in progress, played, include, total, whatever. You can clean up your podcast right here. As I mentioned, I don't download podcasts to my device, so I don't have to worry about that. Use mobile data. So if you want to stream or download, make sure you activate this. That is very, very important because if you are somewhere where you don't have Wi-Fi, say you're out jogging or something and you want to stream a podcast, you will not be able to stream or download that podcast until you have this button clicked on. All right, now we have appearance. So let's go ahead and look at the cosmetics of that. You can do the light theme or the dark theme. I happen to like the dark. Um, you can also show the embedded artwork. Now, this is dependent on the podcaster if they've uploaded different podcast art 
to their podcast or whatever. If not, then it's irrelevant. I just leave it on because, uh, as an example, I believe ATP does this. I can't remember. One of the podcasts I listen to will update uh, or embed the artwork statistics. All right, so right here, Darren, which time lightning struck? <laughs> You've listened for one hour and 15 minutes. Now, I want to mention this app was just updated, so I just re-downloaded it to my iPhone a few days ago. I've listened to uh, Pocket Cast a lot more. This is only giving me the data from this particular app on my phone right now. But uh, you can see how much time I've skipped. That's mainly for ads, uh, variable speed, trim silence, skipping intro, intros or introductions, etc. And then the total that I've skipped 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And I'll go over some of these variable speed and the trim silence, etc. Uh, in a second. All right, help and feedback. If you have a problem with the app, you can come in here and they got some support stuff in here. Troubleshooting, showing you a little bit how to manage the app, like uh, managing podcast, OPML import, etc. All right, import, export, OPML. So if you have another podcast application that you use, and you want to carry over your subscriptions from that podcast, most of them have the option to export the OPML format file or file format. And you can go ahead and just export that like to your desktop on your computer or to your email or something and then open it up and then just choose open in and pick Pocket Cast or whatever. Now, you can also export your podcast. Say you have Pocket Cast and you don't like it and you want to use... Um, overcast or instacast or downcast or you know whichever app supports importing opml files then you can export it and then open up your file in that other application and vice versa you know if you're going to use one of those other apps and then you're going to move to pocket cast same thing and then you have the about section here look if you download this Go ahead and rate them in the app store you know anytime you download an app that you enjoy using or that you purchase and you like or even if you don't like it go ahead and rate it um it really helps the developers um and it supports the developers you know the hard work and it keeps them motivated to keep updating the app so i highly recommend you do that of course you can go to their website shiftyjelly.com or you could follow them on twitter uh, really quick, up here in the Pocket Cast account section, where you see my email is blurred out, um, you notice right here, you could sync your podcast. So if something, say from Android or something, is not synced over, just come in here and tap sync now, and it will automatically sync. And then you'll see it says last synced one second ago. Okay, so when you start a podcast, this is what you will see when you are playing a podcast. Down here at the bottom, once again, you have the Chromecast icon. You also have the AirPlay icon this time, which is really cool. You have your rewind or fast forward. This is where we set up in settings if you want to skip like a commercial or something. Um, you could also swipe left or right. You'll notice the little dots up here. Uh, you can swipe to the left, and you'll notice right here you're going to get all the show notes, etc. So you can tap on these. Um, you're going to get the description of what the podcast is about. You could also star it, and then you can share it. You'll notice the little share button right here. So if I tap this, share link to episode. could also share current position. If I want to star that, now I have this podcast starred, and it would show up in my starred section. Let's go ahead and undo this. And if I go to the right over here, so if I have like a playlist created where I should like, you know, I want to listen to four podcasts in a row while I'm driving and I don't want to have to pull up my phone to tap on the next one. I can go ahead and create that right here. And of course you can hit the edit button and delete something. If you don't want to, if you want to remove something, you can just tap that and then you are done. All right, down here on the lower left, you're going to notice this icon and you're going to notice the Z's or the snooze or whatever. So if I tap snooze right here, you can sleep after five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, end of episode. Now, if you're someone who listens to podcasts at night while trying to go to bed, this is really handy. You can go ahead and set it for 30 minutes. That way you'll know where you left off at the next morning when you wake up. If you want to continue listening to your podcast, you won't miss too much of the info. I always select end of episode. That way it's just not playing like one after another. Okay, and now we have the other icon over here on the left. And you'll notice here you have playback speed, you have trim silence, and you have volume boost. So the playback speed, you can adjust that. Some people like listening to podcasts at double or you can go all the way up. To triple and then you can also lower it let me go back down I believe it's like 0.05 
yeah, 0.05, so like half the speed of normal. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay, trim silence reduces the length of an episode by trimming silence and conversations. So if one of the podcasters asks a question, say for someone on the podcast episode, it'll trim that little noise out. You can turn that on or off. And then you have volume boost. You can boost the volume up. And what this does is um, it will level out the microphones. So if one person's microphone is a lot lower than the other person's, it kind of evens it out. Or at least that's the way I believe that that works or whatever. It also makes most of the podcasts sound a little bit louder when listening to them. But uh, so you have those settings in there or or those effects settings in there as well. And then you can apply this to all podcasts. Or if you toggle that off, you could just apply them to one particular podcast that you are listening to. And of course, you have the artwork here. You have the play pause button. And then you have this arrow up here to go back to the main screen. And that basically just shuts down the current podcast that you are listening to. Um, when you are on a podcast page where you choose which episode to play, you notice up here in the top right, you have some more options in here. You can download all the fresh artwork, share this particular podcast, and then you have um, the podcast settings once again. What's cool about this is here you have auto download, notify when new episodes, auto clean up, sort episodes, and start from, which is a really cool feature. So if you listen to a podcast that has intro music, and they have the same music on every podcast, and maybe you don't care to hear it, and you know that they start at, say, the 45-second mark on most podcasts, you can go ahead and start the podcast from 45 seconds. Now, this will only take place on the current podcast you are subscribed to, so this will only take place for the episodes for this particular podcast, which I'm not going to skip anything. Of course, you can sort by oldest to newest or newest to oldest auto clean up right here and you can do latest episode uh, latest two three five ten all whatever these are the podcasts you're going to keep if you download them notification uh setting for a new episode that's self-explanatory you know i'm subscribed to 30 podcasts Maybe I only want to get notified for one or two of them. Then I could come into each po- particular podcast and adjust the setting for that. I could also auto-download new podcasts. That way I don't have to worry about managing. Okay, well, let me download this. Now I need to wait 30 seconds for this podcast to download. It'll automatically download when the new podcast comes out. Uh, just be aware if you have mobile data on that it will download over mobile so you will be using mobile data and if you have like one gigabyte or something on your mobile data plan you know you could go through your data fairly quickly for some of these podcasts especially if they are video podcasts so just keep that in mind i, I want to show you one more thing with your podcast that you are subscribed to so if you tap this you can pull down on the podcast list and right here you have filter podcast and you can sort by name, release date, or you can do some custom settings in here, etc. You could also tap on the two icons here to adjust things. Now, what this, uh, the four squares right here, this will adjust the layout, making so you have more podcasts show up, or you can do just like a single list of each of the podcasts that you are subscribed to. You could tap the square, the hollowed out square, and that's going to show you which ones have new podcasts since the last time you opened it, like Baseball Tonight with Buster Only. I come here, and as you can see today, there are three podcasts for me to listen to. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you are looking for a podcast application, hopefully you'll consider Pocket Cast. Uh, it is $3.99, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Let me just say one thing. For four bucks, this has been one of the most updated podcast, or just one of the most updated applications that I've ever bought. I purchased Pocket Cast in 2012, and it is still being updated today, four years later. Like, I am still getting updates to Pocket Cast. So, I'm just saying, the developers are good about keeping their app up to date. You know, some of these other developers, they want to have, like, subscription models built in, or they want you to pay, like, this absorbent amount of money every single year, or eight months, or whatever. I mean, Pocket Cast... Uh, if I had to recommend one, this is definitely one that I would recommend in terms of the developer keeping up with the app and supporting the customers over the long haul or whatever. But that's about it. That's Pocket Cast. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. 
Um, I'm going to do Pocket Cast on Android, and maybe I'm going to do another video to compare the Android version versus the iPhone version. I don't think there's really much difference between them, but maybe I'll just put that out there in case someone's wondering if there is any difference between the two platforms, since those are like the two most popular um, mobile platforms. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.